Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez. Have you ever wondered about some of the strongest cyclones that have ever roamed our earth? In this video, we are going to highlight some of these storms and their impact they had to land. But before we dive into this, it's important to understand where these storms come from. Cyclones emerge from the warm embrace of ocean waters where moisture and heat combine to create these strong cyclones. But if you wanna know more about hurricanes and how they form, click the link above for more information. Let's start with Hurricane Allen in 1980 in the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Allen had the highest reported winds during any storm and is one of the most powerful hurricanes ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. Allen reached Category 5 intensity three times during its life cycle, first in the Eastern Caribbean, then in the Yucatan Channel, where a minimum pressure of 899 millibars was recorded, and finally in the Western Gulf of Mexico. Dry air started taking over the storm as it approached Texas in a much weaker state and made landfall around 1230 in the morning, Central Daylight Time, August 10th, 1980, just northeast of Brownsville, Texas, on the south end of Padre Island, with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour and a minimum central pressure of 945 millibars. Other cyclones that have topped the list of powerful winds include Dorian in 2019, Wilma in 2005, which we will get into later, Gilbert 1988, and the Labor Day Hurricane of 1935. Hurricane Allen also produced the largest tornado outbreak associated with a tropical storm across Texas since Carla in 1961. Most of the tornadoes were F0 to F1 with a few rated F2 causing 30 injuries and fortunately no deaths. Property damage was over $337 million, that's in 1980 dollars, resulting from these tornadoes. The F2 tornado that struck Austin, Texas at 2.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time August 10th resulted in $250 million in damages and the costliest tropical cyclone tornado to date. And yes, this was back when the F scale was still in use. Heading eastward, we land in the Western Pacific. Super Typhoon Haiyan, which devastated the Philippines in 2013, shocked the world with sustained winds reaching 195 miles per hour with a minimum central pressure of 895 millibars. And some estimates suggest that it may have briefly reached 200 miles per hour, which would make it one of the strongest tropical cyclones ever recorded. Haiyan was unusual, not just for its record strength, but for its location. It's very uncommon for tropical cyclones to form so close to the equator. The storm formed at a very low latitude south of the Pompeii Island before swiftly moving westward through Micronesia. On November 8, 2013, Super Typhoon Haiyan made landfall in the Philippines, specifically in the eastern Vasai region, with devastating force. The storm's powerful winds, storm surge, and heavy rainfall caused widespread destruction and loss of life. Thousands of people lost their lives and many more were injured or went missing. The storm disrupted power and communication networks, making rescue and relief efforts challenging. The international community, including various government and humanitarian organizations, mobilized to provide aid and relief to the affected areas. Rebuilding infrastructure, homes, and communities took years. Due to the severity of the impact and the loss of life, the name Haiyan was retired from the list of names for tropical cyclones in the western North Pacific Basin. Now to Typhoon Tip also known as Super Typhoon Tip, is a legendary tropical cyclone that is infamous for being one of the most intense and powerful tropical cyclones ever recorded. Typhoon Tip originated as a tropical depression in the Western Pacific Ocean in October of 1979. On October 12, 1979, Typhoon Tip reached its peak intensity with a central pressure of 870 millibars and maximum sustained winds of around 190 miles per hour. These measurements make it the strongest tropical cyclone ever recorded in terms of both pressure and wind speed. What made Typhoon Tip particularly remarkable was its immense size. It had a vast wind field with tropical storm force winds extending over 1,300 miles in diameter. The sheer size of the storm system contributed to its longevity and potential for widespread impact. Fortunately, Typhoon Tip largely remained over open waters of the Western Pacific Ocean, sparing heavily populated areas. However, it did affect some small islands, causing damage and flooding. Its size and intensity made it a significant meteorological event and attracted the attention of scientists and weather enthusiasts worldwide. 
It is important to note that while Typhoon Tip was indeed the most intense tropical cyclone ever recorded, it didn't cause the catastrophic damage that some other less intense storms have caused, largely due to its remote location over the open ocean. Nonetheless, its historical significance in the realm of meteorology cannot be understated. In the Atlantic, Hurricane Wilma was a powerful Category 5 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. It made landfall in Florida in 2005 with winds of 120 miles per hour as a Category 3 hurricane. It is notable for several reasons. Hurricane Wilma is the most intense hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin in terms of minimum central pressure and the second most intense tropical cyclone recorded in the Western Hemisphere after Hurricane Patricia in 2015, which we will talk more about later. On October 19th, 2005, Wilma's central pressure dropped to 882 millibars, breaking the previous record held by Hurricane Gilbert in 1988. Wilma underwent rapid intensification, strengthening from a Category 1 hurricane to a Category 5 hurricane in just 24 hours. The rapid intensification contributed to its record-breaking intensity. The track of Hurricane Wilma was highly unpredictable. It meandered in the Western Caribbean for several days before making a sharp turn to the northeast toward Florida's Gulf Coast. On October 24, 2005, Hurricane Wilma made landfall on Florida's southwestern coast near Cape Romano as a Category 3 hurricane. It brought destructive winds, heavy rainfall, and a storm surge that caused significant flooding in coastal areas. Wilma caused extensive damage in Florida, particularly in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. The hurricane knocked out power to millions of residents and it took weeks to fully restore electricity. The hurricane spawned numerous tornadoes across southern Florida, resulting in additional damage. It is one of the most prolific tornado-producing tropical cyclones in Florida's history. Before reaching Florida, Wilma passed over the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, causing significant damage and flooding. It also impacted parts of Central America. Due to the impact and destruction caused by Hurricane Wilma, its name was retired from the list of hurricane names for the Atlantic Basin. It was replaced with Whitney. Hurricane Wilma was one of the costliest hurricanes in Florida's history, with estimated damages exceeding $20 billion. Hurricane Wilma was the last named storm of the record-breaking 2005 Atlantic hurricane season, which also featured Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Rita. The season exhausted the list of hurricane names and had to resort to using the Greek alphabet for additional storms. Hurricane Wilma's rapid intensification and unpredictable track, along with its significant impact on Florida, make it memorable and historically significant hurricane in the Atlantic Basin. Hurricane Patricia in 2015 was the most powerful tropical cyclone on record worldwide in terms of wind speed and the second most intense on record worldwide in terms of pressure, which was 872 millibars behind Typhoon Tip of 1870 millibars in 1979. Patricia grew from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in just 24 hours, a near record pace. On October 23, 2015, Hurricane Patricia reached its peak intensity with a minimum central pressure of 872 millibars and maximum sustained winds of approximately 215 miles per hour or 345 kilometers an hour. This made it the most intense tropical cyclone on record in the Western Hemisphere and the strongest globally in terms of one minute maximum sustained winds. Late October 23, 2015, Hurricane Patricia made landfall on the Pacific coast of Mexico near the town of Cuixmala in the state of Jalisco as a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 150 miles per hour or 240 kilometers an hour. Despite Patricia making landfall in a less densely populated area, it still caused significant damage. The storm brought heavy rainfall, strong winds, and flooding to several Mexican states. Thousands of people were evacuated and there was damage to infrastructure, including roads and buildings. While the storm caused significant rainfall and flooding, the impacts were less severe than initially feared due to the quick weakening of the system. Hurricane Patricia is notable not only for its remarkable intensity, but also for the relatively low loss of life and damage considered during the storm strength. The fact that it made landfall in a less populated area likely contributed to the reduced impact. 
Nonetheless, it served as a stark reminder of the potential power of tropical cyclones and the need for preparedness in hurricane-prone regions. Do y'all remember any of these cyclones? Let me know in the comment section. And of course, as always, we will continue to keep you safe during hurricane season. Tune in for updates all across the social media platforms and through the MyRadar app. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for extra content you may not find anywhere else. Stay safe and stay informed this hurricane season. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox and Windows.